after three days of playing and uh, this is pretty much the three day perfect fashion uh, in terms of survival you have hunger and health just like life after if you have um, HP but unlike life after where you have gathering combat and crafting level determining everything like oh you need a certain um mastery level to do drones or anything like that it's actually based on character level limited by your homestead and the current server level capacity um, you also get reserve experience much like mastery compensation um, reserve experience is converted into player experience when the player obtains experience by completing daily events much like life after except you can't do it out in the open you have to do daily events like um, daily activity daily missions and such there's a limit to how much reserve XP is and just like life after mastery compensation the greater the gap between it with life after I think there's a set capacity for mastery compensation but with reserve experience there's a limit on how much reserve experience may be occurred greater the gap between player level and server level will be greater than reserve experience capacity there's a daily limit on the amount of experience that can be earned each day from daily events and any excess experience that is earned will be converted into an equal amount of journey points. As you level up, your daily experience limit is increased. And experience earned from main story missions and tutorials will not count towards the daily XP. Um, you do get titles and stuff. You do get titles, you get birthdays. I'm just setting mine to my actual birthday. You get your basic stats here like maximum health, damage, armor, maximum armor which I think is the armor version of shield. You get head armor, leg armor. You get your overall rating. Mine is C, because I've been more focused on gathering than improving. And then you get ways to improve, like the mission, scheduled events, how to increase your expertise, passives, devices, equipment, and many ways to obtain these resources. Now back over to the main area, there's advanced, where you get your combat stats, your special stats, and your survival stats. It also tells you the current equipment you have and appearance wise your equipment. Um, like your motorcycle, your vehicle, backpack, clothes, and a gas mask which when equipped gives you resistance to poison mist. 
but it has the ability. Um, just to elaborate on survival, you can exercise, rest, use the bathroom, add water to your portable bottle, wash your face and clothes. You have to maintain your body type, your fitness. Um, you have mentality. You have hygiene. And you have metabolism. Portable tools, you have a scout, a rig, a fishing, a snowboard, a mobile drone, which is like the glide, drone, snowboard are currently locked. The drone and glide actually snowboard and glide are under development, but the mobile drone is locked. And then I think once a day you check your readiness for combat, the durability of your gear, weapons, your ammo, your mechanical stuff like your vehicle, your drone, your medicine, the gear for your tactical gear for your skill and devices, doorbells, food to maintain your hunger and first aid to maintain your health there are all these buffs here mainly survival buffs get access to your backpack to this part which is different from life after because with life after it's mainly a tablet interface but this one it's more open so you can kind of see what's going on around you um, you can move around during your inventory much like life after you have axes pickaxes um, instead of having more than one weapon at your disposal you have a primary gun and then a heavy weapon much like life after this medicine to restore your health that you're able to craft on the go not as efficiently with stuff like nanoplastic but with enough knowledge on where you get it from such as obtain. You can craft it on the go with special antibody buffers, which you obtain from those dropped by zombies, or you can purchase from the Raven's Shelter. You can craft first aid kits, another level of first aid kits based on your survivor level, and then a bandage, ammo, similar thing. There's two different, there's multiple tactical gears, because this one is a common resource tactical gear. Gives you 12 per unit of resource you have, like one iron ore, animal hide, common flax seed, and cedar bark. And then after a certain level you get another version of tactical gear, which gives you six more uh, craft, but it takes a higher level resource, and then much like the bow and arrows in life after that you can craft on the go, you can do the same with undawn, such as a bow and simply needed stone and wood for your arrows. You can craft ammo boxes on the go, you just need bullet cases which can be dropped from either enemies or purchased from the Raven's Shelter. And then crude, crude gunpowder, 
mainly for ammo crates. It could be crafted on the go with just wood and stone. And then for construction, you just need plant fiber, scrap steel. I'm gonna craft one right now. There we go. Um, rig. For rest shed, you take shelter, rest in the shed, or use a bonfire inside it to warm up and cook food. <coughs> Extension ladder can be used against a wall and used to climb up platforms. You just need wood and a spiral steel pipe, which again you can get from Raven's shelter. And then a safety rope to help you get down a platform safely. You just need steel rope and wood. And then recovery, it's in its own category. Tools, you have bonfire, you just need 150 wood. Bow, axes, pickaxes. You can craft fish bait on the go, fish and rod. <coughs> you can craft gas masks, which you can obtain during missions, but you only obtain them during missions, however. Rig, basically this sort of thing. They last 10 minutes. <coughs> and you can place them on the go. Five players. Prepare to light out there where you only have like one quick access to the stuff. You have multiple. You have one or whatever you want here, and then the same on this side. This is the hammer on the far left corner is the quick access to have the new stuff. You're able to quickly switch to your weapon and yeah, unarm, which doesn't affect your backpack capacity. Can manually switch your weapon speed to. There is a trading system, but unlike Life After, where they last a certain amount of time, instead they last until they're out of stock. I'm not sure if you're able to restock them or if you just have to put another one in. And you also get treasury. can also buy stuff to see here you can just buy stuff. And then same with armor. You can buy armor. You can buy material. Wood, firewood, plant. And then stuff from any anyway, animals. Advanced materials you get minerals, firewood, plants, enemies, unfinished goods. Suitable. Yeah, good enough. You're not camping in there all the time. 
I've got an idea for you. You don't want to wear them, learn to use the fucking bathroom. You're getting dressed now when you're getting out. We're going the door. with the raw minerals workbench before they could be used. Building event. If you do a new thing called Begum, which helps you get silver from other people. I'm not sure if it's frowned upon or not. I only used it once. I haven't used it again since. either do solo or with a group. I'm able to feed you fish. 
plan to even which is based on level strongholds the hold the line with them Survival supplies, equipment, blueprints, structure, food, and other materials to the raven shop. Contribution is basically guild, not guild, camp and stuff. Oh, 
constant events and helping play it. Assist points can be earned when you help other players participate in events you've already participated in. Reputation based purchasing. You also expand your backpack to increase the maximum energy. The cycle. Change points. Check the collection points. Training points.
to take it off before he runs out of the ability. I do hold your tongue. It should restore the ability. You can call them out, but there's a certain amount of time that they're able to be out for. They're able to be out for a certain amount of time before entering quarter. They have special chips that affect how they work. You have to repair them in days. second hand that you can call another drone on the vehicles. There's multiple vehicles that you can have. They have their own durability and their own fuel. I don't think it tells you anything about fuel, but they all have fuel. And you're able to refuel your vehicles with 500 silver, but you have to be on your vehicles to do it. Any 
anytime, anywhere. Meanwhile, I gotta do something in Warframe, waiting on cross save across all platforms, including mobile, before doing mobile videos for Warframe. Because on the phone, I bought a editing app that's basically the mobile version of the PC editing software. I think it's a social thing. And then your homestead. So you can upgrade. I think up to level 13. Yeah, level 13 is the max currently. During certain situations, you would have to repair your homestead. Camp members can use camp resources to automatically repair the homestead periodically from time to time or use their own materials to repair the band. Repair will cost more resources or materials if the territory locker is compromised. There's a player market and everything. In terms of the homestead, you have all this stuff. You can repair your equipment as well as your gas mask, and so repair that to full. Oh, I see why it doesn't, I thought it repaired over time. No, it's just because at one point I used repair all. But, yeah, that's currently, I'll be busy, but I'll cover the rest of the stuff as time goes on. See you in the next video.